Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm going to showcase one of the most underrated decks in this format that everyone stopped talking about for some reason, and that is Prank Kids. Prank Kids are insane right now. The fact that you could play 15 one-card combos and then, like, 25 hand traps is just insane. I'm going to showcase you guys an absolutely amazing Prank Kids combo tutorial and deck profile, two different deck profiles for one of the most underrated decks, baby. I ain't no, ain't no pendulums, but it's still Prank Kids. Let's go. If you guys are ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. And as well, moving forward, make sure there are $30 cloth playmats down on TripGaming.com. So go check it out right now. Also, if you guys want to get coached by the pen god, the pen god is offering one-on-one -on -one coaching down below, the first link down below. So go check it out. With that being said, make sure to smash the subscribe button. And let's go. We've got playing kids profile. Let's go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Prank Kids is legit, boys. I gotta, I gotta give credit where it's due. For a long time, I thought this deck sucked. Even with the new Link 1, I was mistaken. Today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys two different combo tutorials as well as a deck profile. Util two different deck profiles and two different combo tutorials utilizing Prank Kids and just how good this deck actually is. Yes, it's not no pendulums, because no deck is, baby. But when a deck has 15 one-card combos that end in double Raigeki with just one card, that's insane. You got to give credit where it's due. This deck is a deck where you can play 20 hand traps if you really want to. So any one card combo deck, I'm a big fan of. Anyways, let's get started on this video. I'm going to show you guys right now. If you guys want to see duels with this deck, make sure to check out the Patreon down below. And one thing I want to mention is big shout out to the J Money. J Money is it created all these combos. So big shout out to the channel down below. You guys should go subscribe right now. The Prank Kid God. Gotta go check them out right now down in the description down below. So with that being said, let's get straight into the combos, boys. So for this combo, all you need is one prank kit and any random discard, any blank. That's it. Very simple combo. So you go into Meow Meow, and the idea of Meow Meow is why the whole deck uh, works. Previously, before Meow Meow released, there was a lot of problems of bricking with this deck. You need extenders, you need fusion cards. This Meow, Meow, Meow alone turns your Regeki into a double Regeki for one, and for two, it allows any one prank kit to be full combo because it'll get an effect when it goes to the graveyard. So when you normal summon one prank kit, you just go into Meow Meow, and at this point, you have your full combo. Uh, because Meow Meow will now, Fantasies will now bring out Dropsies, and then you just continue going from there. <coughs> this card also, <coughs> the Link 2 prank kit allows you to search any prank kit spell or trap. At that point, you search the Pandemonium, and then it just all, it, it just keeps going from there forever. They keep bringing themselves back. And they keep summoning themselves back. And that's the beauty of it. One prank kit equals two prank kit. Two prank kit equals three prank kit, etc. And it just keeps going. Uh, at this point, uh, that one's going to add the plant and the pandemonium back. Because uh, the effect of Doodle Doo says uh, you, uh, this card links something. Okay, yep. And the second effect is you can tribute this card, target two prank kits, cards with different names in the graveyard, add them. You sent the plant earlier to the graveyard, so then you have plant and pandemonium in your hand. Uh, so the idea behind it. Uh, is that on the opponent's turn, you're going to uh, send to add two to your hand. So uh, the, on the opponent's turn, the other prank kid will be able to tribute and add two more prank kids from your graveyard to your hand. And then ending on the on the Battle Buster. And the Battle Buster, this is a Regeki on your opponent's turn. Since this is a Regeki on the opponent's turn, you just one card combo is full rate is a Regeki. And then on top of that, the effect of Meow Meow in the grave, you could banish it. And then it will equal as two, as two pops. And on top of that, since all the prank kids just went to the graveyard, you get three more prank kids out, which is crazy. So just like that, that's insane. Like, and then you like it just this deck's just this. So you also get a uh, the heavy storm if you want to the feather the so the feather duster. It's just crazy. And this deck just it's whatever you want. One prank kid gets you a quick player geki and a harpy feather duster, which is that's just insane. That that just <laughs> that, that's just wild. That's just wild. So this is combo number one. Combo number, this is one prank kit, just easy win. Combo number two, I'll showcase you guys right now. So combo number two utilizes a card not many people will play, but you play Ultra Polymerization. This card is the absolute nuts. So for this combo, it doesn't need imperm. Just for this combo, all you need is one prank kit, uh, one Ultra Poly, and that's it. So the other one was one prank kit. This one's uh, one prank kit and one Ultra Poly. Both need a random discard. So I mean, it doesn't matter. You have five cards in your hand, so just discard the shittiest one. Same idea here. If you guys see how, how it started there, just one one uh, poly equals them all. Now you go to Ultra Poly here for that. 
ultra poly effect in graveyard so what ultra poly does it's way better than normal poly so pay 2000 life points Future summon a future monster from action two monsters you control materials you can't respond to it and then you can also banish this card from your graveyard target a fusion monster that was fusion summon with this effect special summon all the materials used for it that and you get the oh, holy shit you get so much more plus from that you see like so much more plus from that uh you end on totally awesome with, with this combo and a dragoon so for this combo you end on the exact same so on the opponent's turn you use the effect here to add both back and now you're still gonna be able to toad after you negate something with toad you add back the dropsies to your hand via toad's effect and you just get the exact same thing here literally just the exact same thing you still get double regeki totally awesome negate and a dragoon that's just with one extra ultra uh, one ultra poly ends in both dragoon and toad so that's pretty that's pretty insane that, that that's really insane uh, having Verde Anaconda really helps out as well because if you draw into any extender, you also end on the Verde Anaconda on top of the actual board. So drawing extenders in the deck is very helpful. Those are the two common tutorials. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the deck profile utilizing both of these common tutorials. And again, big shout out to Jay Money and Sam Fish uh, on Jay Money that has created th these combos. Uh, I'm not the prank kid, God, I'm the pen god. So but big respect to them for creating these combos. Now you guys can see the deck profile. This is the deck profile. I organized it a little bit differently than normal deck profiles. I want to explain specifically about starters and extenders just so you guys are aware so it's not organized in alphabetical order or like uh traps spells monsters I hate when or decks are organized like that it should be organized in starters extenders hand traps etc so I'm going to show you guys right now you have 16 starters these are all your prank kids the beauty of prank kids place and the reason why you're playing four prank kids place is that it chain blocks your prank kids so you don't get absolutely ash blasted and just just lose by an ash anyways uh, here, so you play 12 prank kids, you always want to get them. If you hard drop more than one prank kid, that's totally good because you have lots of fusion cards. Like, you have Ultra Poly and you have the Pandemoniums. These are really helpful to draw. Uh, in terms of extenders, the Polymerization is just incredible to open. Instant Fusion is also incredible because you kind of get two cards for the Instant Fusion. Ultra Poly, you get two cards as well. So it's a, they're all plus ones and continue extending like crazy. Thunder Dragon Fusion is great as well because the fusions are Thunder. And uh, on top of that, you get a free plus at the uh, uh, the following turn. For one prank kids, pranks is good to recycle the entire engine. No more than one, just one. It recycles the engine. You could potentially draw a hand trap as well. And you play triple pandemonium in this version because this version is really based on extenders. And uh, the fact that you're playing Verde Anaconda, you're guaranteed now with the more extenders, the better. Because the more extenders, you're still going to be ending on the Regeki Dark Hole. But now if your opponent hand traps you multiple times, you're still at least going to be able to put up a Verde Anaconda with some other stuff. So they're, they're never actually bricks per se. And the fact that it's a bunch of one card combos, you are allowed to play Verde Anaconda and Dragoon. Because if you were to open a Dark Magician, who cares? You have one prank kid is the entire combo. So who cares? So you can pull off your full combo. Even if you drop both Dark Magician and Red Eyes, who cares? It's a one card combo and you're still ending on the gigantic unbreakable board. So it's totally fine in a one card combo deck. Uh, to be playing stuff like that uh and then one prank kids plan prank kids plan is also good in order to have as well just the one one it's searchable you don't need more than one uh in terms of defensive cards triple droplets which is crazy this format double nibiru triple act triple imperm these are 11 defensive cards for this list side deck you got triple token collector lightning storm talents fell us evenly in alpha and the extra deck here you got double meow meow uh i think of uh endemia when i see this i love my cat one verde Triple, uh, you got triple Bow Wow at, sorry, not triple Bow Wow. You got one Bow Wow and double Dodo. Just the three Link 2s, uh, two Link 2s. So one Bow Wow, two Dodo, one Unicorn, one uh, of the Roaster, which is the Pop 4, or the Duster. This is Axis Code Talker, totally awesome. You got double Butler, which is the Regeki. And you got uh, one Weather Washer, you got one Rocket Ride, and one Dragoon. That's extra deck, side deck, and main deck. Great list. Again, big shout out to J Money for creating this combo as well. Now, I'm going to showcase you guys something funny as well. This is actually my version of Prank Kids I'm going to show you now. So now it's time to show you guys my version of Prank Kids. Y'all ready? Let's go. This is my version of Prank Kids. Very similar to my Go Second Zodiac list, which is actually hilarious. It's all blind second. You blind second with this list with the intention of you break their board. You play 13 ways into Prank Kids cards. The first 13, you get your Prank Kids cards. So my idea with this version is it still ends up double Regeki, but you have 27 cards that break boards. So opening one prank kid and five 
board wipes, auto wins the game. Opening two bracket and four board wipes, auto wins the game. And if your opponent takes one card out of your hand, it doesn't matter because you'll still dark hold the rest. So that's the whole idea behind it. You just play board wipes and a bunch of uh, just 13 prank kids. You don't need too many prank kids. I don't want to open three prank kids or four prank kids in my hand. So people are saying, oh, Triff, what if you don't open a prank kid? You're playing 13. The math going second with a six card hand to open 13. You have like a 90% chance to open one or 87% chance or something. This is that's the 90% is too, that's too much. Because going second, Mystic Mind is also an OT FTK. Because if you board, clear the board, except for the stuff, you know, waste their negates and drop Mystic Mind. If you Dark Hole and they have Savage Dragon, they're not gonna like let you destroy it. They're gonna negate it. They have Herald, they'll negate the Regeki. Okay, great. Mystic Mind, GG. Get what I'm saying? So Mystic Mind's also a, star a starter. That's funny enough. Uh, Talents is also a starter in a sense. This is like way too many prank kids in my opinion. Uh, but two is just the perfect number. You don't play pranks. This is just my version. It's not very fun. You just clear their board. And then post side deck, when they see a bunch of go second cards, they know you're playing go second. You side in all these to go first. And so that's deck just to do the combo. Anyways, that's the video here. I'm sure J Money's version is way better. This is just my fun version of go se blind second with board wipes. Is insane. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more prank kids duels, uh, J Money actually sent me lots of cool replays. Uh, on Patreon, you guys know we always do post replays of the deck we talk about. So go check out the Patreon. You guys see replays of the prank kids. And if you guys want to support the channel, check out TripGaming.com. Get beautiful play mats. Support yourselves. Get discounts down below while you can. Links down below. And lastly, if you guys want pendulum training and coaching, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching on Discord. $30 down on PayPal for two hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching on any deck you guys want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yeah,